So how you doing guys and welcome it is Kraken here and today we've got a brand new video for you today we're going to be looking at mods more precisely mod looks actually for seven days to die so first of all I'm going to show you how to install these mods or add them to your game and then we're going to show you some of the ones that I really like and some random ones that I just found and I will put links into the description of all the different ones I feature on today's video and where you can go and view a load of other mods for yourself and this will show you how to install them so as always please like and subscribe if this video helps you or if you haven't to the channel already right let's get cracking right then all the mods or modlets that I'm going to be showing today I've downloaded from nexusmods.com here so from here you can search for seven days to die and a bunch of other games and there is loads and loads thousands of mods indeed obviously we're showing this for 1.0 and it does have all the mods for the older versions of seven days to die so you really need to be looking from anything from July onwards because that's when 1.0 was released most of them are very useful and say 1.0 after them but just have a quick little look at the dates because you don't want to be putting in out of date mods so all of the mods today or modlets have come from nexus.com I will put a link into the description right straight on to steam then I've got all my mods here that I've downloaded. I've also put my older mods in there as well. But here's all the ones I'm going to be showing today. You want to be going into your Steam like this. And you want to go to manage and bro browse your local files. From here, you need to have a folder in this bit here called mods. I believe that folder is already there because there was actually this Fun Pimps Harmony folder already there. But if you haven't, you can just create a new folder and just call it mods just like that. And nothing could be easier. Here's the 10 that I'm going to be doing today. And literally all you need to do, open this up. Obviously, they all come down as um, zipped files. You can use WinRAR or you can just use the Explorer. And you're literally copying and pasting the modlet straight into there. So you can see I've got this stacks one here. I'll quickly delete that one out just to show you that one there. We're just going to copy it and paste. It's as simple as that. It could not be easier. So just quickly show you again. You want to be going into right click, manage, browse local files mods like that and copy and paste your mods into that don't put your zipped files or your winrar files into that you want to put the full folder but you don't need to do anything else and then we can get into the game right here we go just jumped into one of my test worlds here and this was actually for this very basic hall base was for a video that i actually put up a couple of days ago about how to best deal with demolishers so i'm going to put a link up in the top right hand corner now if you haven't seen that video make sure you go and check that out and i'll put it down in the description as well if you don't want demolisher zombies blowing up your base this is the best way to deal with them right but on to the modlets for today this first one i downloaded mainly because i went through broken my leg I went through dishong tower yesterday i do a stream every tuesday night and i was jumping through Dishong Tower. Now the problems I was having with that was that there's a hell of a lot of loot on there and we did it as a complete melee run and I didn't want to be jumping downstairs constantly to where I put my motorcycle and where I put a box as well for all the loot that you can get inside. So this one means that you can stack everything up to 65,000. So if we go into here and we just put in wood for example everything now stacks to 65,000. One of the ones I was having was leather, which I believe stacks up to 200, two and a half thousand normally. You can hold 65,000. Obviously we need a lot of leather now for the new armor in the game. So I was scrapping all of the armchairs in there and I ended up filling up my stack and was just constantly running out of space. So there's the first 
modeler there really nice and simple but it means that you're not going to be running out of any issues first one done and dusted here we go then on to modeler number two this one is showing the health bar at the top there for this new direwolf and these guys are hecka strong 2779 health so this just gives you an indication of how close the zombies are to dying now this will actually work for your own vehicles and everything else as well so it will show you what health what xp is left for any of the things there and if we kill him just using one of the dev tools there just remember these most of the time do drop a red loot bag and for the um the bears I think it's 100% for the zombie bears. I think it's 100% of the time. I don't believe I haven't killed one of those without getting myself a nice juicy red loot bag. Right, on to number three. This one I do actually really, really like and I do use it quite a lot. This one is to save fuel. So we can whack a few things into here and what it does is when you finished smelting stuff into a forge, cooking food making gas in your chemistry station whatever station you're using it will automatically turn off so the iron is now gone clay is gone there you go it automatically turns it off and why the reason i like this one is because i like to pick up quite a bit of coal um yes i go mining for coal to make gunpowder but especially in the beginning part of the game i like to just pick up coal where wherever i can and I can just lob a load of it in there. So it doesn't matter how much fuel you've got in here, but it, it just automatically turns it off. So you can go out, do your day's business, and when you come home, you haven't had your forge going all day long and burning through all your stuff. Works exactly the same in this one here. So if we do some charred meat, there we go. We've got 18 minutes in there. Make yourself a quick bit of charred meat, and we only need it to do 15 seconds and it will automatically turn off so this will work in all of your stations chemistry station forge and your campfire as well there you go automatically turns off we've got a lovely bit of charred meat right on to the next one then this one is another one that i really like using my inventory is completely empty then rather than going up to these things over here and having to click track and looking for all the stuff that it takes, you can just build it. Because I have the wood in here. So it's called craft from containers and basically you can create or build whatever you want as long as you've got the materials in there. Very useful for using the workbench when you're starting to build more complicated items that take some springs, some duct tape, all the different bits and bobs there rather than having to try and track it and look for it as long as you've got it in one of your many crates you can build it straight away now this only works in a radius of you it's also got to be in a storage box that you've created so if there's a box that's player uh, not player made and you've put stuff in there it will not work it's got to be one of your crates that you've put down and you've got to be in a radius i believe i'll double check the description i believe it's about 30 meters so about 30 blocks or so i think pretty sure it's something like that but um yeah very very useful so you can have all your boxes set up in your home base and you can create create and craft whatever you want without actually having anything in your inventory right carrying on with containers this is a mod that i only actually found out existed today never seen it before and it seems quite useful you've got two new buttons up here this one will quick stack everything that you have in your containers to the stuff that you already have so if i click that one there we go it's double stacked everything that I've got here. Now, if I go back to my containers, and what I like to do is make sure that I keep at least half of what I want in my containers. So if we put them back in like that. I can also click this button, and I usually come home and I lob it all in. This one will quick stack everything straight back into it. 
Now, the reason why I like this one is because it will really help you sorting your stuff out really fast because I come home and I'm clicking on all the boxes and uploading as much as I can. This one we've got the gas and the uh, 9mm ammo and this one we've got some of the resources here. I can come straight back into my own menu, click on that, it'll put everything away into the correct box. So that one's now done that one and that one's done that. So literally I can come back to my base, click on this button here and boom, everything will go back into the right place a lot faster than going through each box and clicking away like a madman. Right, this one's been made by my good friend at Physics. Again, it's on Nexus Mods. It's quieting down the auger because the auger can get really, really loud. Sometimes it gets so loud that you can't actually hear screamers getting called in or anything like that. So this one, all he's done is turn down all the game sounds. And I really like this because it can be really obnoxious. Yes, you can just turn down your headphones or turn down your game sounds, but again, sometimes you really struggle to hear streamers so all this one's done is just make it quiet he actually has two modlets on this one that turns off the sound completely personally i like to hear it a little bit but um there is one there that he has that turns it completely off right this is another mod made by my good friend physics here and this one means that you can see the bolts flash different colors to make it easier to retrieve them. So you see here, the further I move away, the different colours they flash. Not so useful when you're actually taking them out of a zombie, but a lot more useful if you accidentally miss all your shooting out, cupboard doors and things like that. Just makes it a little bit easier to see. Didn't turn him into a porcupine. So we'll shoot one more just to demonstrate. And we'll shoot one for good luck as well. It just changes the colour of the flight of the bow. There you go, there's one there. And, like I say, just makes it easier to see, especially if you're colour blind or something like that, or you're just blind like me, makes it a lot easier to retrieve your bolts. This does work on all of the different types of bows and the arrows as well. Right, here's a new mod that I've discovered today. It was adding 28 new firearms into the game, which are all craftable. So there's loads of different variety here and they put their own sounds to them and things like that. And they are all craftable. So this one here sounds very nice put their own sounds to it compared to the pump shotgun that we've got in so it just sounds a little bit better and they are all craftable so this one here uh the spas 12 automatic shotgun as you can see still takes steel still takes shotgun parts and everything like the normal um shotgun does let's have a quick look at the standard pump shotgun seven parts 40 steel so yeah maybe a little bit cheaper to make but it's just just gives the game a little bit of variety which i quite like and they do sound pretty good as well right then the last mod that i'm going to be showing today is the uh helicopter so you can craft this and place it down and you can get yourself a full-blown helicopter not the easiest thing in the world to fly, but then saying that I can't really fly the gyrocopter anyway, but it's got absolutely loads of storage in it, which is always very nice. It does take a hell of a lot of gas though, to fill this bugger up. But um, yeah, you can get yourself a helicopter in the game and you can fly it as well, which is really nice. Up we go. You've got to point your nose down to fly forwards. Something along those kind of lines, and there you go. You can get yourself a full-blown helicopter. I haven't actually checked to see if you can put the mods in this to see how many different people you can actually carry in the helicopter, but that'll be something for you guys to figure out. But there you go. I will put the link to all of these different mods I've shown off today in the description down below and the link to Nexus mods where all of these were downloaded from. 
there we go guys as always make sure you do like and subscribe to the videos to the channel i'll catch you guys later on in the next episode take it easy just remember don't press e while you're flying about <laughs>